Hey everybody, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. Today we look at Nanbaka episode 20. So, holy shit, what an awesome episode of Nanbaka. Probably the best one at least 20 episodes I've seen, besides probably the um the episode where Ju used his his uh his sword arms for the first time. This might come close to topping it just because of the ending. I'm being honest with you guys and girls. Like the ending was awesome. But you know, we have to make sure that this show knows that, hey, it's comedy, right? We swear this is comedy. Uh, the very beginning of it, though, has Upa uh, talking to Nico because Nico apparently left Uno and uh, Jugo behind and went to find uh, Lang and Upa, who is, you know, Lang is the guy with the long ponytail and Upa is the weird, you know, Qui Gong user and stuff like that. And really, more so than anything else, though, he's, he kind of saves the day a little bit. And then we go into a past where we start seeing why they all kind of know each other while Upa knows Lang and Lang knows these, this one guy with the sunglasses and all that or excuse me with the glasses I said why did I say sunglasses anyways though um he actually right here the guy on the screen actually made medicine and he used to make medicine of various things like herbal etc but the mafia like the Chinese mafia at the time wanted him to make something stronger they wanted him to make drugs and what he ended up doing was end up having to work with them alongside two other members who were Liang and Upa and similar to him though he didn't want to kill people he told you know he told the guy flat out he goes i don't kill people i i'll make the medicine or drugs or whatever but he kind of always made sure that it was doing not really what it was intended to do and lang was very similar lang was supposed to be the assassin for the mafia but what he actually did was he more so just knocked them out using sleeping gases that the guy with the glasses made so they kind of worked together in that sense but Unfortunately, the weird pig guy used to uh, told them without them realizing that he'd been spiking their their medicines all the time. So you know, not the not the, the sleeping gas per se, but the guy's medicines have been spiked with the horrible drugs the whole time. He's been killing people, or at least getting them hooked onto this drug of his, and that you know really pissed him off. But he couldn't do anything, unfortunately, to do that. And we kind of learned why he's even associated with the pig guy in the first place. Um, then Nico though has to like try to fight still against this pig guy because Upa and Lang just can't do it. They can't win against him. And Nico faces a bad situation. He starts getting choked out. But then something very interesting happens and probably is the best thing on on screen coming up right here where Nico's drugs wear off and he goes into what we find out is his second personality. So they never really have talked about what happens if his drugs run run out. Like they've said that his medication he needs all the time to prevent them. And you know, obviously he can save save himself against poisons and other kind of narcotic no, uh, drugs and medicines and stuff like that. But we never know why he's always on these kind of drugs. And we find out, kind of ironically, from Uno at one point that he was scared that this would happen. So I'm thinking, and I'm kind of making a prediction that Nico probably was a serial killer or like a super psychopath. And thus why he looks like this in the screen. But oh my god, that was so cool. And, and it was so funny when he goes, hello. Um, probably the only comedy from this episode was probably from the um, the time he used the reference. I think from Azuna's Eleven, which is the uh, soccer anime or football anime, depending if you're overseas. Um, he did a Azuna kick to him. And I'm like, I think that's from the, the I think that's from it. I'm not 100% sure. Feel free to put in the comments below if you remember what that's actually from. And I do like where he tried to make this quote, like he goes, I'm going to take you down because I'm the only one that I can take you down. And he's like, yeah, nailed it. Good job, mate. And the pig guy's like, I'm behind you. You're not even facing the right direction. I thought that was funny. That was great. Um, but most off, you know, this, this episode, the, the ending right there with just Nico and him talking about how he's going to die and he doesn't want to die. But it's not that I think he, he's going to die. It's because he's transforming into his other self. He probably doesn't realize he does this, though. So he thinks in his head he's dying or he's going to die. And just realistically, his other personality just takes over, so he probably goes off into some other world in his mind. Oh man, that was that was really cool. I, I love this episode. This was a really well done episode. Actually, was awesome. You know, a little bit of comedy to throw in there, but overall, very solid episode. Probably one of my favorites, to be honest with you. Anyways, guys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this review. Um, you know, I, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Like, honestly, this is why I think I still watch Nonblock. I know a lot, a lot of people don't watch it anymore because they don't find it funny or they don't find it full of action and stuff like that. But I think that if you see past that, you'll probably find a good show. You know, it's got some it's got some good elements to it. It's not the best show out there, but I think it's one of those shows that I can really say is a lot of fun to watch. And um, also, by the way, if you did notice the cut, I did have it to cut real fast. My phone went off during mid, mid thing when I was finished my uh, outro. But anyways, guys and girls, I will talk to you later. Once again, have a happy Valentine's Day because this is my last video for today. Um, I will talk to you all later. Have a great blessed day, everyone. Bye-bye.